Hey, what's going on? It's time for the Real Table Podcast, episode two. This is currently my third take at this damn episode. That's right, this is the third take. The first one, well, first of all, let me just say this for the second time. I'm uh, on my way to Mesa right now, so I'm currently driving. It's okay, the phone is away. I'm not looking at it. I'm, I don't need to look at the phone while I'm recording just to look at the time or whatever. So I'm on my way to Mesa. This is my third take. Oh, it's also April 3rd, Wednesday, not Saturday. I think I'm gonna do two videos a week now instead of one. I just couldn't help myself. I had to check on you guys. Just missed you. And I also want to give a big shout out to everyone who uh, tuned in on my last podcast. Thanks for all the, thanks for the views. Thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for the everything. And if you're tuning in right now, listening, I appreciate it. It's uh, currently 7.39 p.m. This is a little weird time to be recording a podcast. But then again, recording at 3.30 in the morning, is that really any better or any different? I feel like this one is way better. I was actually going to record earlier in the day, but, you know, when you're lazy, you're lazy. So you just kind of put things off. I barely... Okay, so I went to school... I came home, I got Little Caesars, and I think Little Caesars fucked me up. And not in a good, fun way. I think there's... I don't know what... I don't know if it was the pizza or the soda, but... I have, like, Pepsi taste in my throat, and it, like, burns. It's been, like, killing me the past two, three hours, and I have no idea what it is. I mean, I just left the batting cages right now, and it, it went away... But I, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It, it, I just, yeah, that little Caesar today was like, God, I give that a solid two point three out of ten. That was such, such a disappointment. Uh, I should have got something else. But anyways, you know what? You live and learn. I do eat at Little Caesars, right? I, I get a lot of shit. People remind me all the time about how Little Caesars isn't that good or it's garbage or whatever. It's like, yeah, but you still eat Taco Bell, but you know what you're getting yourself into. There's a reason people call it Taco Hell. They know what they're getting themselves into when they go through the Taco Bell drive through You know, you, you, you just know, all right? When I go to Little Caesars, I know I'm getting $6.14 worth of, you know, food. And, and not just that, but life. You know, I don't think life is worth $6. I think it'd probably be a couple grand maybe. It'd be like if you're buying a, a used car on uh, eBay. It'd probably be like 2500 for like a truck with like... I'm, what the fuck am I saying? What am I ranting about? Anyways, <laughs> I'm on my way to Mesa <coughs> to meet up with a buddy of mine or buddies. I'm not sure. I know there's at least one. I'm going to know at least one person down there. He messaged me a few day, days ago. And he said, hey, would you rather go to uh, country dancing on Monday night or uh, ladies night on Wednesday? And I said, I'm going to go with ladies, ladies night, fam. Real tough decision on that one. Country dancing or ladies night? Eh, sorry, I got to go to got to go to ladies night. Because I am single and ready to maybe mingle. Double M, maybe mingle. That's where I'm at. You know, really, really selling myself high on this podcast. All right, so with that said, let me explain how this is my third take. I recorded earlier today at like 1.30 in the morning one for about an hour and a half. Actually, it was exactly in an hour and a half. And I think, the, I think it was too long. It, it couldn't process the file. So there was about an hour and a half of pretty good material. You know, I'd give it maybe a 6.7 out of 10. But oh well, you know, that's that's life. You just got to live and learn. So, you know. And uh, my second attempt, I, I just recorded myself for three minutes. And then I was back to see how it would sound while driving. And it sounds fine. You know, I guess there's a little bit of noise in the background. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. You can still hear me rambling. Ramble on the Zeppelin. Somebody told me that that was really loud. 
when I recorded that. So I do apologize. I forgot to put it on vibrate. And I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to... Oh. Okay, I got rid of that. I cut that one short, all right? Oh, that reminds me. Since I'm on the freeway driving, there aren't going to be no rabbits. No rabbits are going to be making an appearance on this one. And if there were, that's a fucking comedy rabbit. Right? I literally was just mad chilling at my house all day today. I got like maybe three texts from one person and then that's it. And then I start recording. Literally five minutes, 53 seconds in, I've already gotten three messages from two different people. Again, that's just, that's just how life works, you know? We here at the Real Table Nation understand your frustration, which is why when you listen to me rant, you can kind of somewhat relate to some things that I say. And here's one thing that I will say. The LA Kings practically eliminated the Coyotes last night. And when I say that, they beat us and put our playoff hopes in major jeopardy because the Coyotes now have to win their last two games and the Avalanche have to lose their last two games. So it's possible, but it's not likely. So with that said, I'm going to get this out of the way early. It was a good season. It was a great season at times. This is a, I'm proud of my boys. I'm proud of my yokes. It was a step in the right direction. We signed a couple guys to some extensions. I think this was a good step in the... I think it was a major improvement. I don't know if this was supposed to be the season they were going to contend. I wouldn't think so. I think I think they were supposed to just kind of improve, not really make a playoff push. But next year, I think, will be the year where they are, like, going for it. You know, we will contend. We will build, you know, one of those things. But either way, there's two games left in the hockey season, and the regular season's over. And if the Coyotes don't make it, I'll watch the, the Stanley Cup playoffs for sure. Don't get me wrong. It won't be as cool as last year when Vegas went in. And I will admit, I wanted Vegas to, to win. I wanted a team. Dude, a team in its first year winning and going all the way. That's incredible. It's never happened before. I think they said it, it, it happened once with like a minor league team or like a double A or triple A team or whatever. Triple A, single A is what I meant to say. But I'm not entirely sure. So don't hold me to that. But I do know no professional uh, sports team has ever won any championship in any sport in their first year. The, ironically, the Blues went to the Stanley Cup three, the first three years they were a team, they went and lost. They were like runner up, like cuck of the universe right there. I mean, rest in peace, St. Louis Blues, but what the hell? Oh yeah, they're gonna make the playoffs. So maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe maybe this will be the year they they turn it around and finally win. I'd be okay with that. I just don't want Nashville to win. I don't. I'm sorry, Bill Burr, but I don't want Boston to win either. You know, Toronto totally deserves it. Or Tampa Bay, I'd be fine with them. There are a lot of hockey teams I'd be okay with. I wouldn't be okay with San Jose, um, Nashville. Those are the two main ones. Oh, Pittsburgh, yeah, I don't really want Pittsburgh to win. They, they win so much. I want to change it up a little bit. Washington won last year. It'd be kind of cool to see the piece since it's really hard to do. But sorry, Alec Betchkin, don't really want to see it happen. Again, sorry, you're really cool. You got a cool name, but I just... Yeah. Which also major claim. I think Alex Ovechkin is going to win. Or not win, but beat Wayne Gretzky's all-time goal record which is 894. He's got like 650? I don't remember. Someone's got to look that up. Too bad this isn't live because then someone could like listen to that and then text it to me really quick so I can correct myself so I don't look like a complete jackass. But this is almost live. This is as close as you can get to being live because right when I'm done recording this, I'm just going to Give it a title and upload it, and then bam, there you go. No editing. Hardly any of this is planned out beforehand, which is probably why this podcast probably gets about yeah, maybe a 3.8 out of 10 so far. So I got, I, I'm giving a lot of numbers out. I, I was a homework assignment for Excel. Oh, here it comes. Oh, no, I thought my phone was going to go off again. It didn't. Score one for me. 
And this assignment had me working with a Excel spreadsheet and I was typing in, you know, 28838.5 plus 98832.7 or whatever. I love numbers. You know, I'm a, I'm a musician, I play drums, so my whole life is in numbers. And then baseball, stats, numbers, you know, everything. My all, but it's, it's been really simple, basic numbers. It's never been something like a... Uh, oh. So that's what, four? That's four messages? And 11 minutes in? Where are all you people at when I'm not recording? I'm just sitting at home having a staring contest with my cat and no one wants to like call or message me. Then the second I hit record, it's like I'm just like, I just, people are just messaging me left and right. What the actual hell? Message me when I'm not doing anything. Like seriously. <coughs> Man. Also, I have no idea what's going to happen. I know this is like, am I going to a restaurant or, or a bar or a club? I don't know. We're going to find out. And I was going to record on the way back, but I wanted to upload on Wednesday because I want to do videos on Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday and Saturday. I don't know why I said Thursday. Because I think those are two weird days to be uploading videos because Wednesday's hump day it's the middle of the week and then Saturday's the middle of the weekend you know usually people do it on like a like a Sunday or, or like Monday Monday's probably the best day for a podcast because you know you come back and you survive the weekend you hate your life and you turn on the, the radio or something you listen to Joe Rogan Howard Stern or uh, you know Bill Burr or whoever can I actually like respond? Nah. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. But let's see how many more people are gonna fucking message me. You know? Or by the time we get to the 30 minute mark, I'll probably be at like 12 messages, four phone calls, two voicemails. But if I stop recording, okay, I guarantee if I stop recording right now, my phone is not gonna go off at all. Like, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. Yeah. But anyways. You know what? You know what's funny? I was watching the, the Diamondbacks today. And, uh... Oh, yeah. This is on my second take. I didn't say this before. Um, the Mariners are off to... Uh, they're the best team in baseball. They're 7-1. and one. It was unbelievable. They had like a, a re... They were... I thought they were going to be rebuilding. Well, they, they were. They had a fire sale in the offseason. I didn't think they were going to even come out swinging like this. But they are. Okay. Major prediction right now. It's going to be Oakland and Milwaukee. Milwaukee's going to take it in six games. I'm, I'm calling it major prediction. Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. You heard it here. Stone Cockler predicts Oakland Athletics versus Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers take it in six games for the 2019 World Series. Can you imagine if I actually got that right? Man, people would be asking me to fucking call football, basketball, which I won't do because I don't like those two sports. Even if I did, I would just be like, eh, Utah Jazz. But you didn't look at the numbers. Eh, I don't care. <laughs> If I'm that good, then we'll see what happens. So, uh, I saw the movie Us. And it was very scary. Well, I don't know if I was, like, super very scary, like I was paralyzed, but it, it was scary, you know? It's scary. If you haven't seen it, I would, uh, highly recommend it. It's Jordan Peele. It's, uh, it, you know... How many other great movie directors do we have out there that are just not directing movies, you know? Jordan Peele was a comedian on Key and Peele, and he's hilarious. You know? He and uh, Michael Keegan Key and Jordan Peele, I think that's how you say his name, Michael Keegan Key or whatever. Those two are great. They're hilarious. You know? And then he said, hey, I'm going to be a director. Here's this, my first movie, Get Out. And you're like, what the fuck? And then he makes us, and you're like, what? 
What's next, dude? What the hell is next? Like, I'm looking forward to it. But also, is it just going to be like scary movies? <laughs> if it's going to be scary movies, then... I don't know, man. It depends on the movie. Some movies, like, if it's in the right setting, just absolutely just scare the shit out of me. Alright? One of them... What the fuck? Well, somebody's getting murked! What the hell is he going after? I don't know. I'm, I, I think if you didn't hear that, the uh, cop drove by in the fast lane. Like, three lanes over, but there's there's nobody there. I don't know. I don't know who he's going after. Maybe he's going to chase a donut or whatever. <coughs> I don't know. Not bashing cops. I'm just saying it's a funny stereotype. Anyways, the movie Us was good. But I gotta say this. The whole... During the movie and before the movie was very interesting. Because when me and Aaron got to the movie theater... We got there and we pull up. There are two big fire trucks and an ambulance with the lights blaring outside of the movie theater. Okay, this does not look good, all right? We're already gonna go see a scary movie and we pull up to a very scary site. And at first we're like, oh, somebody's getting murked, what's going on? And then he goes, was there a shooting? And I'm like, oh, f oh shit, maybe. Actually, maybe, dude. So we, we park and we walk up and I see like three people standing outside, but there's no, you know, police line, there's no tape or whatever. And I see a guy with his hand above his mouth and I go, oh my God, something happened. And we walk closer and he takes his hand away and he's like laughing with his girl. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess everything's fine, but what, what is this? What, are they trying to close early? That's a hell of a method, dude. If you just wanted to close a movie theater early, why do you have to take the most extreme approach just want to close early, just close early. Why do you have to stage it and put like mm -hmm. fucking two fu huge fire trucks with an ambulance with the lights going, blaring, okay? So anyways, we get up there and I'm like, hey, can I have uh, one for us at uh, 1030? Hey, what's going on out here? And they're like, oh, it's no big deal. They're just making sure the, the mall is safe. And I'm like, okay, I... I, I that's strange. So anyways, we go in and we sit down and we're watching the movie. And there's this guy who is just yelling. He's not yelling, but he's talking loud, making these dumb comments. At first, a couple of them were funny. But he just kept going on and on and on, just ruining the movie. And I'm like looking around like, seriously, what, what, what is this? What, 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 why? There are only like eight people in the theater too, so it's very easy to, okay, there are two people behind me, it's not them. So it's either the four people in the back, back row, or that's it. But either way, what am I gonna do? The movie's like scaring me shitless. So I can't, I'm not, I'm gonna turn around and just be like, hey, stop, you know? I, I, I won't be in, you know, confrontation mode. I'm gonna have to switch off and be like, you know, get back to reality. So I finally get, I just, I'm fed up and I walk over because it sounds like it's coming from in front of me by like the front door. Oh shit, did I just miss my exit? Ah, uh, yeah, I just missed my exit. <laughs> well, there, isn't that neato? That's, that's, that's awesome. Okay, um... I guess it's not that big of a deal. Boy, it's of course uh, that that was gonna happen. I why why am I surprised? Of course I'm recording. Well, okay, I was gonna miss my exit. That was that was just a given. Voice crack. <laughs> okay, whatever I'm gonna call this thing, I have to have the word exit in here. Sorry, Kyle. I'm still gonna be there. I know you texted me that you're leaving, but I can't respond right now, but because you're going to listen back to this, I'm just letting you know I'm, I'm going to be there early, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm going to be there before 8.30. So what the fuck was I talking about before that happened? Um, 
Jesus. Oh yeah, so I walk over and there's this guy just sitting on the ground by the door with his his knees up to his chest, just talking his talking his head off. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. This is the dude? He probably walked in from another movie and just sat down. So I'm standing up and he's on the ground, so I bend down and I'm just like, hey look dude, I can hear you from my seat. Can you just tone it down a little bit? Just be a little quiet. And he tries to be like, hey, you know what? I'm watching the movie. You're ruining my movie experience. You need to go back to your seat. And in my head, I'm going, dude, you're going to get thrown out of here if you really think that argument's going to fly. So I just ask him again. I'm like, look, I don't mind it. I can hear you, though. Can you just be a little more quiet, all right? Just please. And he goes, you just go back to your seat and blah, 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 blah. And I stand up and I look at him and I think, if I go back to my seat, he's going to keep doing it. But now he's going to do it to really get to me. So I kind of just like, you know, whatever. And I just, I walk out and I had to go get a manager, you know. I had to, I had to be a stingy old white guy and just be like, this guy's ruining the movie for me. I want a refund, but I didn't ask for a refund. I just wanted, I just wanted him to get him to leave the theater or just get him to shut up, you know. So I got a manager, told him, and he came back, and he said, uh, he told me to go back to my seat, and he, and I heard the guy say, take two more things, and then that was it. He was gone. So you know what? I had to do it to him, but just shut the fuck up. I'm trying to watch a movie, a good one too, and I'm getting into it, and you making your dumbass snarky comments is not helping at all, right? Did I miss an exit again? Um, okay. You know what? That's just... That's just not fair. I missed two exits. What the hell? I was totally prepared for that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kyle. I'll be there. Don't worry. I'll, be, I'll make it. God, that's just that's just embarrassing. Two exits back to back. That was me. That wasn't even three miles. And I messed that up. That's unbelievable. Oh wow! I have to do a, U, a U-turn up here. That's great. Oh my God. <laughs> I swear, it's not like I'm looking at my phone. I'm not. I just keep. I look down. And it says, get off on exit 56. And I look up, and exit 56 is right here. And it's like, oh, what? No, there's my exit, you know? There's nothing I could have done. There's nothing I could have done. But hey, I guess it kind of makes for entertainment because now <laughs> there's, two, there's two exits I've missed. Oh, I know, I know what I'm going to call this thing. <laughs> I know what I'm going to call it. But speaking of titles, I... Um, I called the last podcast. Uh, I didn't really know what to call it. So I was thinking, I was like, what, what, what is it? <coughs> and I thought of Anchorman, the second movie, where it's called The Legend Continues. So I just figured, you know, why don't I just call it The Legend Begins with a, with a question mark? Because I'm Lol Funny XD. So I don't know. But like I said, I got, I got the perfect title for this thing. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you, someone out there listening to this, they're definitely going to be like, <laughs> get off your phone. But I'm not on my phone, I swear. Okay? It's just, it, my phone is just mad chilling. All right? I'm, I'm watching the road. But I have to look down to see what exit to get off. And that's where it's like, oh, you need to get off in this exit. It was like a few years ago when I had a friend of mine she was the uh, the map person but she was the worst because she would tell me this is your exit literally right as I'm passing it and she wouldn't give me any notice you know a mile before she wouldn't tell me oh you need to get off uh, at exit whatever she would tell me as I'm passing the exit and then she'd yell at me and I'm like really? But if I tried, you know, if it was reversed, she would still somehow not, she, would, she wouldn't believe me. She'd be like, I'm not doing that, I'm doing this. But it's like, dude, I'm looking at the map, okay? I'm looking at it. 
all right? So anyways, well, so much for getting there fairly early. I'll still get there, you know, with plenty of time. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> Two exits, man. That's just, that's, it's unheard of. Actually, no, it's not, because I've, I've done that plenty of times. I've missed plenty of exits just watching the road. Voice crack. Someone have a voice crack counter. God, fucking like, voice cracks all the damn time. Like Jerry Seinfeld, but I'm not a millionaire. So I lose, and he wins. That's where we at, 26 and a half minutes, not bad. Not bad. Uh, what, else, what else did I talk about? I'm trying to think of things. Oh, you know what? Um, since I don't have my iPod with me, I guess I'm just gonna have to review the song that I did this morning. Which I, I didn't really get to explain too much last week what this is. Basically, I'm going on my iPod. <clears throat> I'm going on my iPod and going to uh, my all Metallica playlist. It's every single Metallica song. I just click shuffle and then the first song that comes up, I just review it really quick. Which means I say I like it, don't like it, I played it on drums, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Just a little something to, you know... It adds like two or three minutes to the podcast. Gives it gives it more beef, okay? Gives it a little more oomph, all right? So the song that came up last night, or this morning actually, was The House Jack Built. The House Jack Built. They've never played it live, okay? It's the third track on the Load album, 1996, all right? <clears throat> the album's called Load, all right? came out in the year 1996. I worded that weird. And it's a very, like, it literally sounds like Metallica doing grunge. It sounds weird. It's weird. You know, it just doesn't really, it doesn't sound like Metallica. And it's another example of, like, Lars is like, Metallica's, Metallica's all about experimenting and if you don't experiment then you should just drop you should just sit and fucking die which he actually did say he did say that in an interview once Metallica is all about exploring and experimenting and if you don't do that you just sit and fucking die like I, I kind of like the attitude <clears throat> my voice is losing me I'm losing it you know I like the attitude Lars but no Metallica is not about experimenting. It's about heavy metal. It's about playing metal, okay? It's not... It, 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 dude, why the hell did Metallica write songs like Mama Said, which is like country? It is country! Why would you do that? They wrote Low Man's lyric? Oh my God, it had a hurdy-gurdy in it. Jeez. No. Correction, no. Metallica is not about experimenting, alright? Metallica is about kicking ass, alright? Not kissing ass. But anyways, The House Jack Bill, it's an okay song. It's not one of the songs I don't like. You know, if I had to rank it, it'd probably be like, you know, 98 out of 110, 115 Metallica songs. I don't know, I don't know how many songs they have in their catalog. It actually might be over 110. It might be like 120 122 or whatever. I'm not sure. I'd have to double check it. But yeah, the House Jack Bill, I've never played it on drums. Voice crack! I've never played it on drums before. It sounds okay. It sounds like a good warm up song to play. You know, if I was going to play a show, 30 minutes halfway, boys. Well, maybe actually. We might be cutting this one a little short. I don't want to record. This is a good podcast, man. I missed two exits and I got live reactions of that. And I know people are definitely going to be like, wow, how'd you miss the second exit? How'd you miss the first one? You just got to pay attention, you know? And I know, again, sorry, Kyle, I know you're going to listen to this and be like, son of a bitch. But you're going to be laughing. Hopefully you're going to be laughing. So, I think I'm on track anyways. I think I'm back on the normal route. I just had to 
no, I, wait, maybe not. Scratch that. Look, either way, I'm like 12 minutes away, 13 minutes away. So this one's going to be a shorter podcast because I definitely want this to upload. It's not worth going for an hour and risking it, okay? But anyways, House Jack Build. It's an okay song. Look it up if you want. Boom, there you go. Now, <clears throat> I'm surprised my voice, with how much talking I've done over this past week, I'm surprised my voice isn't just gone or shot. Oh, man. Anyways, what do we got? So today's Wednesday. Coyotes have two games left, but the Diamondbacks, they open their home season. Their home season? That sounds kind of weird to say. But they play their first home game. That's a better way to put it. This Friday against the defending World Series champions, Boston Red Sox. And sorry, Bill Burr, but I hope we win. I hope we beat them. J.D. Martinez is coming back. He'll probably get a, a standing ovation. I don't think he'll get booed. I hope not. I hope the Arizona crowd understands why, you know, he left. We couldn't afford him, okay? We just couldn't. So please don't... If you're listening to this, please don't boo J.D. Martinez, all right? Just cheer for him. He came here. He did his job, all right? He even did pretty well in the postseason. I mean, it was only four games, but either way, he did a good job. You know, he did good work for us, all right? But when A.J. Pollock comes back... AJ Pollock comes back. I might request that day off of work, at least the first game, so I can go and boo him. I'm going to boo the shit out of Pollock when he comes back. And I know what I'm going to say. They're going to be now batting AJ Pollock, and people are going to be like, boo! And then the second it calms down, I'm not going to stand up. Or maybe I'll, like, kind of, you know, straighten my back up a little bit. I'm going to look at home... You know, I'm going to try to get as close as I can to home and literally just yell. <clears throat> I'm not going to yell it now, but I'm going to yell. It was said that you were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. You know, that Star Wars quote from episode three. It was something like that. It's like, it was said that you would destroy the Sith, not join them. I can't really remember the first part of that. Break balance to the force. Not leave it in darkness. <laughs> You know, God, that epi- episode three. Yes, I'm about to go on a Star Wars episode three thing. All right, so buckle up, fuckers. Star Wars episode three is like one of the biggest memes, if not the biggest meme movie of all time. Episode three has given us like so much to work with. Like every two minutes, there's a new meme new potential meme that pops up it's it's so good and i'm not even talking about like the like at the end when darth vader it's like it seems in your anger you killed her and then he goes no you know it's like that was george lucas giving the middle finger to all the star wars fans out there that's my life left yeah i'm almost there thing because when I upload this and he's gonna hear this and this is the whole live I'm literally like not even 10 minutes from the place I don't know this is just funny it's funny yeah but episode three when he goes no you know that's just George Lucas literally going let's wrap this shit up guys uh, I'm, I'm done I'm collecting my pension I'm retiring from this shit I can't do this anymore but God, episode three, it was so bad in some parts. Yes, it is the best of the three prequels, but that's not really saying much. You know, episode one was good. Liam Neeson was, you know, pretty good in it. Darth Maul was badass. Badass. But, you know, he didn't say anything, and he's only in the movie for a solid seven minutes. <laughs> I got a water bottle this time instead of a cup. Oh. Okay, so... There's about five or six texts in this 35 minutes, all right? From two people. No, no, three people. Three people have messaged me in the last 35 minutes. I'm, why am I triggered? I remember, wait, what the, what the fuck? 
What happened to the thingy? Oh, okay. Alright, we're good. We're good! Anyways, I had 36 minutes. 36 by System of a Down is a really dumb song. Go listen to it. If you actually go listen to 36 by System of a Down, mm -hmm. you are true. My god. <laughs> hey, I'm at least cutting it off. I know it's loud, but uh, next time I will put it on vibrate, alright? I I didn't think it would be this bad. I, I just forgot. I keep forgetting how many times I keep getting texts from people when I'm doing something. You know, if I were to go if I were to go on like a hot date on Friday, I would get calls left and right and be like, hey, you, you wanna do this, you wanna do this? But if I were to do nothing on Friday, you know, and my phone, I, I would just sit and watch my phone. I would get nothing. Nobody would like message me or whatever. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to talk about Star Wars Episode Three, but this damn coyote keeps interrupting me. But you know what Episode Three did give us? It gave us Palpatine, Chancellor Palpatine, or Emperor Palpatine, whatever you want to call it. No, oh, it's studious. You know. He, his thing is, is so good. Do it. Do it. It's the easiest thing. That's like one of the easiest uh, characters to impersonate. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Just that one. Just sound like a frog. Sound like a ribbit. Is that a ribbit? Just knew it. But yeah, you just watch episode three. And you just point out so many different flaws in there think to yourself, what is that? Did they, did George write this script and